Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, your boy Vertus here and welcome back to my Unreal Engine 4 Blueprint tutorial series. In today's video we are going to be taking a deeper look at a character blueprint inside of Unreal Engine 4. So this character blueprint is going to contain all of the information for your player, uh, player character which the player of your game is going to be able to control. So it's going to essentially contain all the different components and all the code for that character. So what I'm going to do is break this video down into two parts. So first things first, we are going to be looking at a third person character that's already been made for us and breaking down some of the different elements and then from there we are going to be moving on to creating our own third person character or our own player character blueprint that we can use and show you how to set it up in the game mode as well so it uses that class. So if you go to your third person BP folder and then blueprints, open up your third person character. Now within here you are going to have um, a sort of an unfamiliar layout. Now you've got three main sections inside of this. So first things first, normally you are going to be taken to the event graph tab and in this event graph tab this is where you're going to have all the information pertaining to that particular a character that you're going to have within your game. So for example, stuff that you might want to put in here is things like updating health, collectible items, and anything that is going to be related to the character. Moving on, you've got the construction script, which as you know, is just going to be code which is going to be executed as soon as this blueprint is loaded into the game. And then lastly, you have got your viewport, which is essentially your physical representation of this. I show you all of the different components. And these components are also listed in the top left hand corner in the components panel. Now in here you can see we've got the main blueprint. And then within that we've got a capsule component, an arrow component, the mesh, which is the physical side, and then we've also got some camera related stuff. And if I wanted to, I could add any other kind of component inside of here, such as lights, extra meshes, weapons, anything like that. But we will get that, uh, we'll get into that sort of deeper into the series. Also, what you have on the right hand side is the details panel for all of these components within your third person character. So for example, if I wanted to, I could click my character movement component, which is going to handle all the information for movement and change things like the velocity for my jump, I could change the max walk speed in any one of these settings, and this is going to be unique to this player character blueprint that you've got here. So, to make this easier, what we're going to do is close this up and create our own character blueprint that we can use. So we have something 100% custom and we also know exactly how it works. So what I'm going to do is in my content browser, I'm going to right click and add a blueprint class. Now for the type, I'm going to set this to a character. A character, like I said, is a type of pawn that includes the ability to walk around. With this, I'm going to give this the name Tutorial Character, just like that. And then I'm going to open this up and I'm going to put some of the main components that we are going to need in here. Now for the most part, we've already got pretty much uh, the main stuff that we are going to need. So the first thing is going to be the mesh. At the moment there is nothing in there, so I need to select my mesh go to skeletal mesh and I'm going to set this to sk underscore mannequin which is the robot looking dude that comes with the engine. Now with this I need to make sure it is within the capsule component so I'm just going to move this down and make sure he fits in there. And what I also want to do is make sure he is facing the way that the arrow is facing. So I'm just going to press select and rotate objects and just rotate him so he's facing towards that arrow. What you also need with a mesh is going to be an animation class so it knows which animations to play. So I'm just going to grab third person underscore anim BP. If you've created your own then you can use that but that is the one 
that matches up with this character that Epic Games have already made. Now what I will have on the channel is a bunch of tutorials on creating your own animation classes. You can see that as part of my um, animation series that I'm going to be doing and also my creator game series such as the FPS game, the RPG game and so on. Moving on from here, what we also need is a camera. So I'm just going to add the camera in here and I'm just going to move this back and place it wherever I want it to go. So you'll notice with this camera, you've got this bit here. This is where it's going to be looking at. That is what the player is going to see. And we're just going to have it behind him just like that. And what I'm also going to do just to show you how easy it is to add a component is in the components panel at the top. It's going to add a point light and I'm actually going to add this just behind the character um, so that we can see this and I'm going to in the details panel just give this a color and set this to let's say sort of a greeny color here. So I'm going to turn the attenuation down and turn the intensity up nice and high just like this. So let's go ahead and show you how you can actually use this in your game. So first things first, we need to go to our world settings or get it from our project settings. Now, like I said before with the world settings, this is only going to apply to this specific level. If you want this character that we've created to be used by default throughout your entire project, you need to go to edit go to project settings and then in there we just need to change a couple of things with the game mode so that it uses this character. So go to maps and modes in the top left and under default pawn class what we're gonna do is just set this to tutorial character instead and now if I go ahead and delete this character press play what you should have is a character here that is going to stand there. It's got the camera like we set it up before and it also has the light component that we've put in there. Now what you do, what you will notice is that the character currently does not have any movement. That is because it's not something that we've set up yet. If you want the, that movement stuff, you could go ahead and grab all of this from the third person character that we've got already or you can even just duplicate this character, which is something that you might want to do. But for now, what you do know how to do is set up the character, you know what it's for, and all of that good stuff. Anyway guys, I'm going to end off the video here. Once again, thanks for watching, stay awesome, keep creating. Your boy Vertus, signing out. This video was made possible by my supporters on Patreon. If you want more videos like this, check out my Patreon page using the link in the description. To stay up to date on new releases, make sure you follow us on social media.